Apple is Steve Jobs, for sure. I mean, he is the one who defines the company. He founded it, but I mean, look at its recent history. It, 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 he has his personality stamped all over it. I used to say about Steve that he was the best person uh, possible to work for and also the worst uh, because he's a, a man of extremes. Steve's extremely passionate. He's incredibly sharp. Uh, he's more than anything else incredibly quick. He's got the quickest mind of anyone I've ever talked to. Yeah, I mean, I, I idolize Steve Jobs. He's absolutely, you know, one of my, he's, a, he's like my favorite celebrity, but I, I don't pretend to think that I would understand what would come out of his mouth if I asked him the question. I cannot explain how Steve comes up with these things because he has a different operating system. And so mere mortals cannot understand him. So that's why when people try to understand him and you know his quirks and all that, they get very frustrated because you can't. It would be like telling a fish how to understand how a bird feels flying. It cannot be. The fish is stuck in the water. The bird is soaring. It's a different operating system. That's what it is. I think Apple is his place in the world. This is where it all began, and obviously, it's uh, you know it's a piece of himself. It's a company that seems like it needs somebody who's not just your ordinary CEO to run it. They tried a number of ordinary CEOs in the 90s and it just didn't work. Because if you look at uh, the time era that Jobs was not there, Apple fell into a category where their, their Macs were just becoming like everyday computers and there was nothing special about them. But of course, Steve, Steve Jobs has an incredibly strong aesthetic, in, in case you can't tell. I don't think you could change the DNA of Apple if you tried. So Apple's DNA is in, in building cool stuff. It's an engineering company. They can say they're marketing and all that, but you know, a marketing-driven company is a company that theoretically listens to the market and deliver what the market says it wants. <laughs> that, you could say many things about Apple, but that ain't one of them, okay? They don't listen to anybody. Apple's idea of market research is, you know, Steve's right hemisphere is connected to his left hemisphere. That's the focus group. Immediately when Jobs came back, first thing he did was the iMac. He set the personality, he set the tone of the computer. He's like, here, we're going to break boundaries, we're going to take, the, we're going to take it to the next level, the next edge. You could make the case that Apple III wasn't his, <laughs> and Newton wasn't his, and uh, Lisa wasn't his. So the only time it flubbed or stubbed its toe was when, I, when Steve wasn't behind it. I don't see Apple being able to continue at the pace that it's going right now. I mean, I don't expect it to suddenly, you know, fumble and fall, but it's not going to be what it is now. Now, the, the problem is going to be the post Steve, if you bring in some dickhead who thinks that he's mini Steve, and he too is a visionary, and he too understands what people need but cannot express. So dick, this dickhead is gonna say, all right, so this is what I've decreed people will want, and I'm the new Steve Jobs. <laughs> the company will implode. That depends on whether or not the philosophy employed by Steve in focusing on product and having a passionate view of the product and its relationship to the rest of the operating enterprise. If they get somebody like that in there, then it will continue as an ever-growing, ever-expanding, ever-creative enterprise. <laughs> you know what I'm coming to, right? I mean, if you hire some dickhead who does that, it's game over, baby. We'll all be listening to Zunes and, win and using Windows machines. If they get a bottom line man in there, it may succeed, but it will never have the aura and the passion that it has today. You can trace the greatness of Apple uh, pretty closely back to the greatness of Steve. Uh, some of the flaws of Apple as well. I can't build a case that it's, it's going to be easy to find another Steve Jobs. It may not be that um, you want another Steve Jobs, because there can be no other Steve Jobs.